Eleftherios Kyriakou Venizelos was an eminent Greek leader of the Greek National Liberation Movement, and a charismatic statesman of the early 20th century remembered for his promotion of liberal democratic policies. As leader of the Liberal Party, he was elected several times as Prime Minister of Greece, serving from 1910 to 1920, and from 1928 to 1933. Venizelos had such profound influence on the internal and external affairs of Greece that he is credited with being the maker of modern Greece and is still widely known as the Ethnage. His first entry into the international scene was with his significant role in the autonomy of the Cretan state and later in the union of Crete with Greece. Soon, he was invited to Greece to resolve the political deadlock and became the country's prime minister. Not only did he initiate constitutional and economic reforms that set the basis for the modernization of Greek society, but also reorganized both army and navy in preparation of future conflicts. Before the Balkan Wars of 1912 a circumflex 1913, Venizelos Gatilitkrol helped gain Greece entrance to the Balkan League, an alliance of the Balkan states against Ottoman Turkey. Through his diplomatic acumen, Greece doubled its area and population with the liberation of Macedonia, Epirus, and the rest of the Aegean Islands. In World War I, he brought Greece on the side of the Allies, further expanding the Greek borders. However, his pro-Allied foreign policy brought him in direct conflict with the monarchy, causing the national schism. The schism polarized the population between the royalists and Venizelists and the struggle for power between the two groups, afflicted the political and social life of Greece for decades. Following the Allied victory, Venizelos secured new territorial gains, especially in Anatolia, coming close to realizing the Megali idea. Despite his achievements, Venizelos was defeated in the 1920 general election, which contributed to the eventual Greek defeat in the Greco-Turkish War. Venizelos in self-imposed exile, represented Greece in the negotiations that led to the signing of the Treaty of Lausanne and the agreement of a mutual exchange of populations between Greece and Turkey. In his subsequent periods in office Venizelos succeeded in restoring normal relations with Greece's neighbors and expanded his constitutional and economical reforms. In 1935 Venizelos resurfaced from retirement to support a military coup. Its failure severely weakened the Second Hellenic Republic, the republic he had created. In the 18th century, the ancestors of Venizelos, named Kravatas, lived in Mistras, in southern Peloponnese. During the Ottoman raids in the peninsula in 1770, a member of the Kravatas family, Venizelos Kravatas, the youngest of several brothers, managed to escape to Crete where he established himself. His sons discarded their patronymic and called themselves Venizelos. The family was of Laconic, Mainute, and Cretan origin. Eleftherios was born in Mornes, near Chania in then Ottoman Crete to Kyriakos Venizelos, a Cretan merchant and revolutionary, and Stiliani Plaumidaki. When the Cretan Revolution of 1866 broke out, Venizelos' family fled to the island of Syros, due to the participation of his father in the revolution. They were not allowed to return to Crete, and stayed in Syros until 1872, when A.B.D. Tilda one fourth Lazis granted an amnesty. He spent his final year of secondary education at a school in Amalpolis in Syros from which he received his certificate in 1880. In 1881 he enrolled at the University of Athens Law School, and got his degree in law with excellent grades. He returned to Crete in 1886, and worked as a lawyer in Chania. Throughout his life he maintained a passion for reading, and was constantly improving his skills in English, Italian, German, and French. The situation in Crete during Venizelo's early years was fluid. The Ottoman Empire was undermining the reforms, which were made under international pressure, while the Cretans desired to see the Sultan, Abdul Hamid II, abandon the ungrateful infidels. 
Under these unstable conditions, Venizelos entered into politics in the elections of 2 April 1889 as a member of the island's Liberal Party. As a deputy, he was distinguished for his eloquence and his radical opinions.